Hello, one and all, it is I, Ragaraf, back again with Tectonica. And last time we got quite a bit completed. We got uh, up to level two here on Victor. No, to level one on Victor. And we now need to get to level two by uh, putting in enough stuff. Looks like we're making plenty of copper, but we need to get these plant matter frames going. So. Let's move on over here and have a little look-see. Right. We don't have these building up either, so we need to get our cores building too. So these things need to be activated to carry on making stuff. Need to get to the crankshafts because then I'm not going to have to do this every time. And water wheels and then we can make the bit over there work, which would be nice. Um, so we built this little room last time. Now we're going to build a room next to it, I think. And in this room, we can then... Uh, oh, hang on, I don't have enough of them. But then in this room, we can have it building the... What do call it? The things. Oh, I messed that up. The plumber frames that we need to upgrade this. So let's get rid of these a minute. Oh, I do have a advanced three, don't I? Okay. So that should be another 15 by 15 room there for us. And what we want to do is bring these stems, which are coming along here, which may not be the most perfect place for them. I wonder if we make this go up and over, actually. I'm going to do this. If I make this... ...go up and over... ...like that... ...then I can bring this one... ...this way, and it won't be right on the edge of the room. Which means that the room... ...can then... I can then go straight through this wall, actually, with these stems if I need to. That's going to be much better. For the moment, we're just going to build them out of this box. But in the future, I'll have a wall along here. So that will be good. Right. Pretty roof. What do we need to build these? I think we just need to fresh again. Let's have a look in here. So, yes, it's just plant matter fiber. So we need to fresh again and then put stuff into another box. So all I'm going to do is this. <laughs> um, and we're going to put that down there. And that's going to start freshing again. For the oh, hang on there, that's too far over. This box isn't far enough over, is it? Because we're going to have to have a room, a wall in between those rooms. And we may as well put it on that side. Uh, in this room, on the side of this room. Right. That's good. That is going. And it is making us some bits that we need. So we now need to assemble... One of those things. So we need assemblers. Where are assemblers? Why don't we have assemblers? We got assemblers there. Do we do we have assemblers? We don't. What is going on? Why don't we have assemblers? The tech tree says there's assemblers, but I don't have assemblers. What have I missed something? What have I done? Have I not scanned enough assemblers yet? That might be it. Oh, and we've got to go into here as well, which is the uh, accumulator station. So we may as well do this while we're over here. Oh, it's in about here, I think. Yeah. This rock can go. And we'll go straight in by this rock. Because... Hey! hey we, we know there are assemblers over the other side of this. Try to go easier on the recon slang. 
It might help you guess at what those signal names are short codes for. Accumulators won't matter for a while, but get in the habit of scanning anything and everything. Oh, we got a scan, haven't we? Like it can only help. I'm playing uh, Foundry, and yeah, I keep pressing the keys for Foundry now as well. <laughs> Ridiculous, I know. Have we scanned enough of these yet? One more, and then they'll go fast. There we go. Now we can get rid of this entire room. And we can actually make this an accumulator station, eventually. You don't actually need to build your own accumulator areas in the original map playthrough, because they've kind of thought about it all for you. Um, oh, I ran out of power again. Um, take you... There we go. Right. As you can see, we've got accumulators over here, and we can scan that, and that yeah. should get us the These blue. Oh no, we've got one more for blue. Mob speed two, and some of them, and we want to scan you because then we can actually fly at last, which is what we want. Now, don't forget they've added these as well, so the wall plants, so you can actually scan these off too. It wasn't surprising that we took accumulator construction seriously down here. I faintly remember power sources in other sectors that were even stronger, but they also tended to do things like explode, set things on fire, create giant clouds of poison. Right, let's go through and scan these accumulators, shall we? We're going to go, can't go wrong with basically the out river. this side of this. Accumulator substation. All scans complete. Oh, we want to go up one. Here we go. This should bring us out to the river on this side, like that. And then up this way is where we will find the other assemblers. Let's just cut through the middle of the, the river. Let's not do the sides. And then this should open up a, another route around the map for us. Which doesn't rely on having to run up the back. There we go. Now, as you can see, there should be some up here. There we go. Uh, wrong one. Oh, so we have scanned enough of these already. What is going on, guys? Am I... Have I just missed something massively simple? I'm really confused, because these are scanning fast, so that means I've got enough of those to build them. Basic manufacturing at Lima. Tier 1 is done. Why not unlock them in here? Is this all it is? Transportation synthesis. Ah! We've got to unlock them. <laughs> right, so you should know where we are if we run around here. That was me being a bit... thick, should we say? That might be the polite term. You can use stronger terms if you wish. It does not bother me. Right. We are back to our main base. Right, so we've built an assembler. No, we haven't built an assembler because we didn't actually build the assembler. Because we didn't research them. I'm going to build five so that we've got some for the future. Don't want them there like that. Or them there like that. Uh, what's this? No one out there. Uh, you can stay there. You're there, you're there, you're there, and we don't want you on there. What we do want is... Oh, I'm pressing foundry buttons again. What we want is you to be down there. Right. 
We've run out of power again. Need to get this sorted too. We'll probably get to that in this episode, I think, because, like I said, I'm trying to play through reasonably fast. We're not going for massive efficiency or anything like that. We are just going for getting it done so we can listen to the story line as we go. Right, so these want to be... Oh, no, no, that's wrong. I need... Uh, oh, why are you there? You shouldn't be there, you should be on six. So that needs to pull out the those ones. And then we can have another box here. Which is just doing... these. Uh, and you're pulling out the extract. And you can then put that in there. But yeah, that should work. Except I might need to bring this around, actually. And do that as well. Just because that's pulling out more than that can actually put in. I don't know how much that needs. That needs 60 a minute. So we actually need two of these running, really. But we'll leave it at one for the moment. Might change that, actually. Might change it. Ah, uh, should I change it? Oh! Debates, debates, debates. Yes, I'm going to change it. If I have two of these running... I can always build another room of that over up over here. So how many is this supplying of this? The stems. So we're only getting 30 a minute of the stems. And you require... What do you need? Uh, 10 a minute. Oh, so we can actually have three running, can't we, off this one farm? Okay, I think we should do it. You're waiting to grow. You're coming in there. Okay. We're, we're going to get rid of you. What we're going to do then is move everything back one. Because that makes a lot of sense. That definitely works. Then we can have you coming in there. We're going to have to bring you one this way. So we're going to bring you out in line with these, I think. You check out onto one of you. I'm just going to take that across the front for now. We need to build a couple of freshers, though. Because three freshers should feed this one, I think, and keep it running at full speed. What does this need? 60 a minute, and this produces... No, so two is enough, and you only need ten a minute. And then they're producing thirty a minute of those, which is... What? Why have you got that in there? How did you get that out? Oh. I may have boo-booed at some point. Uh, this is meant to be... Doing. Oh no, not oh, extra stems. 
Oh my gosh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons still. Right, this explains why this is not running so well, because I've I've been doing things wrong. I can just all go in there for now. It's fine. And you want them. And these need to be running. Let's activate these every five minutes at the moment. I need to get to the next level of research on them, so it's 30 minutes at least. Right. Let's pick that up. We can put you back in there. That's working now. Right. Have we got these? We do. Okay. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do... Put you in there. That won't leave me enough room to do... Yes, because we can go right up to the edge on this room. So it should just leave me enough room? Maybe! We'll see. I'm going to put these back. I'm going to put these at the back. If I go... like this. Bring that out and that way. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, that works. And you guys can go in there. So, so you need to be doing 60, so you need another one of you, because you'll be checking out more than... Yeah, that's good. Nice checking out enough of that. That's working. Brilliant. So that will work down to there. They all check into there. This then checks in to here. But we need somewhere for well, the extract to go. What about here? No. <laughs> I can, though. Put it just here. And then if we have you doing Extract. Copy you. You can do extract. Like so. I don't get on out, but we can just bring that across this way. Like that. Yeah, that works. Extract copy. Nice. So, why aren't these taking out that? Um, let's copy that to that one and that one. There we go, now we're off. Making frames, and frames are going in here. So our frame room is active. Nice. 
and we're now getting lots and lots of... Don't need you, do we? So let's put in a couple of you just to keep up. There we go. Nice! That's nice! It's working! And this is Local working, but building up... Oh! 0001. A new signal! Report to production terminal, Victor, for triangulation. So we need uh, 90 plant matter frames. So how many is that checking out a minute in that one? I can't remember. This is checking out 15 a minute. So it's going to take us, what, six minutes to get there. So we'll leave that and we'll go check out this triangulation. triangulated new location new location cut oh this is x-ray let's go and have a look at x-ray while we're waiting for this x-ray needs what does it need i think it needs just basic copper and things so let's let's keep these going a minute i need to put some more drills down as well don't i i think i said i was going to do that off camera and totally forgot Um, I'm not sure how many of these it needs. So let's not run over there hastily. Let's put some more drills down. Uh, what do we need? Six drills all together. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. That should be enough drills for both sides then. We're also not drilling limestone yet. So we are going to need some for that eventually. Yay, hey, fruit. Alright, let's copy these. Oh, I don't have enough of these. I'm going to have to go onto these. Which is a shame. But needs must and all. Nice. All right. So we need another four drills, don't we? So one, two, Ah, I got stuck in between them. Three. And let's stick one over here, shall we? Got me some more plant there. <laughs> the quick way to mine plant there. Uh, so what have we got? What? One, two, three, four. Five. So that should be five across. I don't know how far back we've gone, but we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Let's get this done. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. We need one more. That'll do. No, it won't. That'll do. <laughs> okay. So. Lot of inserters, and we've got to go and do our power again. Cool. Now I'm going to 
gather all this up just because this is quite easy plant matter to get from kindle vines gives you a lot of plant matter so let's grab some of these quick and then what we'll have to do is get a shiver thorn farm going because we can extract plant matter from shiver thorn and we can eventually make things better. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this one over here. Alright. Can't pick the mushrooms up. We used to be able to pick them back up back in Alpha. Why can't we pick them up now? Hmm. Interesting. Now, I'm not going to put stacks of this in because it just burns for it really quick. What we'll do though is we'll just put half a stack of that in. And let's go across and... I'm sorry, plants, but you've got to go. This side is going to become all... Like... This anyway. So if we just do... Like this. You'll get covered up eventually, so... Let's just get rid of you. And then we can use you for fuel. Oh, can I have those mushrooms? That was alright. Uh, you are still got some. You're good. Okay, so you probably need some of that. Okay. So we just need to do the same on the irons, uh, on the copper side. We oh, dug a bit out here, like, so that's good. Okay, I have at last mould out that entire area there to make it nice and easy to put some of these drills down. What we do need is to produce some of these, so we need a lot of these because we need to put some of those down. Let's get these drills going there. We can put those down after the drills. So, we need enough space. So, let's put you there, you there. And then we can put two on this side. This. And that. There we go. And then these things can come around back this way. Nice. This stuff has places to go and machines to meet, Breaker. Keep building those conveyor belts. Um, yes, Sparks, I will. But I need to get some production going. Leave me alone. Right, let's get this going. There we go. Right. Now we have some good stuff going. Let's see. We're backing up, so this is nice. I want this to back up so I can grab a load. Because I think I need something like... 100... 150... For X-Ray? can't remember the, the activation load. For X-Ray. Have you got enough in the... Yeah, you've got some in you. you got some in you. Don't know how many that means I've got now, but I've got loads. So that should work. Let's go and see if we have a few building up here. Probably won't, because we've only just done this. No. So copper is an issue. We'll wait until these give us enough. We've only got 50. Pretty sure it's these that we need. Oh, we got to keep this going as well. Otherwise, we will run out for our plant matter frames. There we go. How many frames have we made? We've probably made enough now, actually. Oh, no, because it turned off. We only have 38. Oh. Well, we need 90. Right. These need some fuel as well. 
What about this end one? He's alright. Alright, I'm gonna steal all this. Sorry. All your copper belongs to me, except the ones I miss, because I'm not really worried about them too much. I've got 200 and, oh, we may as well make it all to 250 because then we have enough right let's get to x-ray x-ray is this no yes this way so we've got five minutes of power which should produce us enough Frames for the next level. I'll go and see PTX ray and unlock that at the same time. I haven't made a jump pack yet. Can I not make a jump pack? Do I have to. Uh, transportation. There we go. Suit speed can go off as well because I've had enough of walking slow. Task inbound. Now we need to make Increases hover pack. Altitude for enhanced planning and exploration. Wait for the hover pack to be built. Could probably hover jump up somewhere, but jump twice in rapid succession to initiate lift off. Let's grab all the Kindle vine whilst we're here. Sorry, sunflowers. Although I don't think I've scanned the sunflowers. Probably should not have picked them because I haven't seen any. Well, there they are. Yay! Campfire blooms. See? That's what they are. Alright, so this. All the way up through here. Go through here. Be fine because we can go to the right, can't we? I think up through here. And around this way. There we go. Now, we've got to the interesting part of the level. So this is the freight elevator. And so this is the part that I think they are going, that, that they have now changed. I'm pretty sure they have. So for the advancement of the story, we'll be able to go up the freight elevator. I remember having to put an auto shield field up around those cauldron giant plants to keep them from getting chopped down. We realized early on that natural sources of light were worth keeping around. Plenty of room to build factories by cutting into walls. You don't always need to kill the view. Um, yeah, okay, so that's... So these lights go this way. There is something at the top of the waterfall. There's uh, some boxes up there. Can I scan this big one? I think I have. This is... EFP system offline. The elevator the offline, as you can see. Additional production terminal upgrades required to restore emergency power. And we have our blue research cores now all sorted. So that's brilliant. Oh, look, there's a. There's a Nexus here. This is a locked Nexus, though. We can't use it. But once we've got X ray, we will have the Nexus. I forgot about the Nexuses. Nexuses are awesome. Or next eye? Would you call them next eye or nexuses? Just gathering these because then I get the seeds and I get the plant matter from them as well without destroying the rest of the biome, which I want to leave around as much as possible in this playthrough. I don't want to kill everything like last time. Oh, there's a f different colored glowy mushroom. Oh no. 
Just the brown ones. Okay, so PTX ray is up through the side of this bit of Atlantum up here, which we obviously haven't got to yet doing Atlantum. But we'll grab the rest of these. Oh, killed a bit of plant unnecessarily. Right, so the map, as you can see, we can go through here. There's a room over here. A big lot of Atlanta up there, look. So, this is X-Ray over here. And you can go through into that other room over here. And there is some buildings up here that you can sort out. But let's go through this part. Extraterrestrial material detected. Yeah. Advanced mining drill or upgraded tool required. Or explosives. It never mentions explosives. Sparks likes explosives a bit too much. But so do I, because they're fun. Anyway, let's go up to X ray. Oh, I forgot we got to drill through the second bit. go. Now, you can go down here and investigate as well. We won't do that at the moment. We're just going to unlock X-Ray, which I think we needed just the bits for. Once again, detected. we're going to get all of this. X-Ray. Configuration. Construction. I remember X-Ray. This the, production uh, terminal isn't like Victor. Bit of story or now. This one was modded for a substance we developed here instead of back home. We called it Calisite. Most of our core facilities were built out of things we bought from Earth. But when we started to actually develop factories down here, we realized we needed more. A lot more. Calisite was like magic. It resists the elements, it conducts electricity, and something in the limestone here makes it a snap to build. With the exception of being incompatible with our protection zones, it was the best structural material a groundbreaker could ask for. I'm incompatible with protection zones, too. Okay, so... Need to scan... 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 Scan. So that teaches you all about the calisite. And yes, I was right. There's these. There's 200 of each. We brought just enough. Here unlocked. This terminal won't give us new tech until we make some initial repairs to it, Breaker. If you don't recognize anything it seems to be asking for, you might have to come back later. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. But we just want to unlock tier one while we're waiting. Before you decide either way, though, you might as well scan those training terminals right next yeah, to Yeah, I've done it. They'll probably give you some good information on what to do here and how to do it. We'll, we'll come back and scan all that down at another time because it takes forever. To start making these new structural components, scan all things. of the buildings. Down. Steel ingots and cement. The easiest way to make steel ingots is to smelt iron ingots, and the easiest way to make cement is to smelt limestone into quicklime, and then handcraft it or use an assembler to make the final product. Finally, don't forget that steel production and cement are technologies on their own, so you'll need research cores to oh, activate we opened it around this side, didn't we? Not before you can make any of I normally open it uh, over there, but... You won't be able to complete this tier of PT X-ray without mining charges, Breaker. Remember the mining charges we saw in that office at the warehouse? The WO signal? We need to get in there. Just a couple. Yeah, I know we need to get in there, Sparks, but when... when... We 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 can't yet because we're not making processes just yet. Okay, so how much plant matter have we got? Have we got enough to yeah? We've got enough to fill all these back up, look, so we don't have to worry about them running. So let's fill them all up.
Let's do the same on the other side. Because it looks like we might run out here. Oh, no, we've just stacked up massively because we're not using it all. Okay. Right. It's good. Let's go and uh, check up the top. We're just mining more than we can use, is all. Um, well, we ran out of plant matter. You need to activate, you need to activate, you need to activate, you need to activate, and you need to activate! Yay! Right, do we have enough? No. Oh my god, I thought that would have made enough. Another seven needed. Faster. Build faster. Come on. I could do this though. And then just stick some in there. Just so it builds for me. What's our power grid like? Oh okay, we're over we're double over power. No wonder it's not working so fast. Uh, do we have any more? Yeah, we do. Let's put these down here for now. And then things might actually work at full speed. That explains why it wasn't making enough. Because we were short on power. Now we should have enough power to, for it to run at full speed, which is great. We were probably running at about half speed, which would have been our problem. We have enough now. Uh, did we bring enough? No. Let's grab some of this out. And some of this out. We still don't have enough copper. Speeding up. Uh, that's because these are not taking in fast stuff, are they? So what I'm going to do is change them to fast ones. Yeah, that'll work, because that's 75 a minute coming out. And these can take an 80. That'll work nicely. Right. Okay, I actually do have enough, because I didn't realise... That my bags were stacked up down below, and if we sort it, we should have enough of each. Yes, just enough. Okay, let's upgrade this. There we go, upgrade. Terminal upgraded. Terminal upgraded. New technologies and recommended tasks available. Thank you. The tech tree is really opening up now, Breaker. Water wheels and mining charges are both going to be things I promise you won't know how you got this far without. Cooling systems will probably okay. help you open up a lot of broken, overheated facility doors in the sector, too. And keep an eye out for those blue research core fragments. We've already done that. Local signal deciphered. We have enough CS research tools. Report to production terminal so, where does CS come? Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Narrow no, frequency. Narrow frequency. Oh, it's over there. So is that... Kind of what that is. But, let's go and do our water wheels, shall we? If we can get water wheels, let's... Oh, look, there's new deco lights. You can get them quite early. Nice! I'm going to have to have a play with those next go. Right. So we want energy, water wheels. Don't have enough water wheels. Let's... Take off our suit speed for the moment. Oh, we can't. Haven't learned it. We'll build some of these. Until we have enough. Uh, so we need... How many was it we needed for water wheels? That's crank connect, which is going to be very useful. Crank span and then water wheels are up there. 
So crank span is the amount of time. So really, we want quite a lot of these. Let's get them building, shall we? So if we're going to build some of those, what do we need? We need four copper wire and some mechanical parts. So we can build that over this side. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to have enough. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, so we need mechanical parts and... So if we have this one doing copper wire... I can just uh, come across with the copper. Like this for the moment. Until we sort this all out properly, of course. Oh, that one. Um, activate. 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 We really need to sort this out. ASAP. <laughs> activate. 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 And activate. Right. My gosh. So that is making copper wire. Which, if we're going to be making these. You need copy what copper wire at 15 per minute, which that one will do. And then we want 30 per minute of mechanical components. So this does 15 a minute. So we want two of these running. Uh, these are in the way there. Activate all my cranks, activate all my cranks, activate all my cranks, activate all my cranks. Right. And then this can go... This? No, it can't. going to have this one do I think is come into the middle here and then split off like so then that goes into all three evenly that's nice and then this Oh no, these need to come back one, so this can't... This needs to go... Like this. That's nice, and then this can go... Like that. This one can go like that. And then we can take those out. That one goes there. That one goes away. And then this can come up and do similar. Do a similar thing, but just on that bit there like that. That would be nice. 
How many does it need? S needs 15 a minute. So we need 30 coming out, which is a number F6. And that can take out our iron. Oh, there we go. That should be working. Okay, and this is only producing 15 per minute. So that can put in there. These are producing 15 a minute each, which can also both just do that. Across to there. And we want a number six taking in there. That is taking in them. I hope. And this is actually taking in bits. There we go. So we should now be producing enough stuff. For the moment, I'm just going to dump this in a box. How many does that produce a minute? Only 7.5 a minute. Whoa. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab some of these out and some of these out. I'm going to make a few. And I'm going to go dump some in the box down here. Just... So I got a few. We could, I guess, bring it back above this one, couldn't we? Um, if I put that there, and I go like that, that's that's nice. Oh no, I'm going to have to get rid of these again. That's one thing that is, does annoy me about this game. Is you can't tell it to build sloped. You have to start it on the non-sloped non bit for it to actually work properly and go all the way in one go. Otherwise, it will just look weird. Uh, let's put those in. Let's produce some more. No. Like so. Look how fast these ones burn for you. Through. I'm going to put some in there just to keep that running. But, yeah, it's ridiculous. Right. Uh, you know what? I might be able to learn Crank Connect. Yes. Activate Crank. And then... Activate crank. There you go. As you see, you've got crank connects through the middle. So what we can probably do now, actually, I'm going to take some of these. I'm going to take all of them. This may be a mistake, but if we do the water wheels, as I said last episode, up through here, uh, up at the water facility, which is why we put this cable in. This cable is bringing power from the water wheel facility. And if we use this as just the water wheel facility up here, then that should work nicely. We haven't picked all these. Like... Right. So as you see, what we can do is put these down here. And then... They're all connected automatically to a water wheel. And the water wheel, as you can see, only produces uh, 100 Newton meters. So we're actually running to many here because these use, oh no, hang on, that's right, that's four, four to one. Is that? Oh no, so it needs 40. Yes, yeah, so a 40, 80. Yeah, so it's two to eight, is it? But we can just link these up for the moment, and that will give us power constantly, which is awesome. 
I think. One, two, three, four, five. So, one, two, yeah. We'll have to work this out properly, but at the moment, that should be supplying us with a reasonable amount of power. So, 747. Seven. Need those water wheels. Need 30. How many have we got? We've got six available. And we've made another 10. And this should be producing some over here as well. But really slowly, because we've just dumped down all of our stuff over there. Oh. And it's not running at full power. I thought that would save you time, but it was less water wheels than I remember. Which is silly. Right, let's put those in there. Let's grab some more bits out of here. Then we should be able to build a load more of those. Right, I'm going to skip ahead whilst those build. And then I'll be ready to place those water wheels. Okay, all. Um, well, after that uh, brief respite to build a few more cores, I did realise that this track here wasn't turned around the right way. And I was waiting for myself to build all the cores, rather than the cores building themselves, because this wasn't working, because this was not making copper wire so yeah that was a pain but now that's going again as well right so we should have enough now to do our water wheels and our crank spans which um you know we don't really need crank span now because we've got water wheels already but we should also be able to do accumulators and we can now sort of join up this bit in here because these accumulators will initially start to add up straight away so we want these let's just build a walkway at the same height and see what we need so let's initially build it across this way and then it's along here we want to go so we want to do this Let's get rid of that and let's change that into some of these. Do we have singles? Oh, we got some of these, look. Those will do. Let's put those on there for the minute. No, we need singles down there. We need singles. I don't like the wastage that was there, so we need to have one, two, three of them. Oh, they do five each. Oh, never mind. That's fine. We can deal with that. Oh, we already had 360 of them. We could have just used them anyway. Um, oh, so it only needs one. We don't even need them. I think we can just put that in like that. There we go, look. And then it goes up into here. And these should start accumulating energy. That makes me want to fill all of this in there. Like so. Which we can't do. Because we don't have enough of these. Right. Right, we can fill that in. That's wonderful. Now, let's go over and sort out over here. But we need water wheels. I f yeah, we're going to need more water wheels. So we're going to build all of those. And whilst I was off camera as well, I did gather a load of material because all my stuff ran out of plant matter, which stopped everything working. So that's all working again now as well. We've got a few accumulators over here, which is annoying, because I kind of want to get rid of these, but we can't get rid of them. I'd like to move them down to the accumulator area, really. Uh, why have we got beams in here? I don't want beams. And what I want is water wheels, which we've got one coming up. 
What I do? Oh, we got we got two. F seven. So they need to go in there. And that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like that. And then these are now powering it reasonably well. We still don't have enough. So these produce these produce a hundred each, so that's three hundred. So two, 200 can do four of these. So we need four of these to do eight. Can we fit another one over here? I think we can. I think we just got to get rid of that. Put in, oh, we can't build here. No, no, that's not. Oh, we can put one on this end. That's all right. Woo, hang on. If we put one there, yeah, that's how they've done it. Like, that's how it's meant to be. And we'll do the same on this side. And then that's meant to have one, two, three, four. That's meant to be a water wheel. So that needs to come out. Then a water wheel needs to go in here. Just the other way around. No, is that the right way? That's the right way. Yeah, there we go. Now those two should be powering that. Oh, we're getting really close now. So we'll get one in here, two more in there, and that should sort out our power needs, I think. So if we get this one in here, Oh, that's got us really... Yeah, it's, it's mostly doing it, look, except when I think it's putting in the power. So if we fill this bit in, this then makes this an awesome little power station. And we can go this way, although I don't want to get rid of these plants. There's plants on either side. You're going to make me kill the plants. I think we'll go this way, because I think we need to go one more here, and then we can fit another two lots in here, although this is in the way. Can we get rid of this? Yes! That will work. We got it. And we might go another this way. We might just have to get rid of some of these plants. But this is a nice cave. I like the pink cave. It can be our power cave. Uh, did we get some more built yet? Yes. And we need to have one more in here. Just building now. Once that's done, our power is sorted. And to be honest, I don't think you need much more than this, because once you start upgrading in the tech tree, the amount of power you get from these, I think it works out better. So you can you can have a couple of like tech two generators on these, and then you just need to put more water wheels in instead to generate more power. But now we should have loads of power. Look at that, 2,400. That should be enough for our initial oh that's not what i wanted <laughs> that's what i wanted um that'll be enough for our initial deployment until we get the tech upgrades that's brilliant okay so back over here we should now be running at 100 percent let's have a look And this has got way too much going on over here, look. <laughs> but I don't care at the moment. And this is churning out nicely. And this should be churning out frames. Yes! Okay, so the last bit I wanted to show you in this episode, guys, was to go back over to Lima, because when I was gathering some plant matter, I forgot about something over at Lima that I didn't show you, but they can give you a little boost early on if you've not played this game before, because it gets you um, some kindervine stems quite early on. Now, if you come over to this bit, around to the right from Lima, 
and you have a look at the map, you will notice that there is something that joins you on to this factory that you saw right at the start through the glass when you first come out of your cryopod. So if you just dig through here, you can run around the corner and you can get rid of that. Uh, there's nothing in these boxes, I don't think. It's just, oh yeah, there we go. We got some bio bricks early on. So bio bricks power your stuff really well. So they last a long time. You can grab all this off the belts as well. Grab it out of these. You can scan all of these. Why oh, can't I grab that? It's not letting me take that one. <laughs> it does not want me to take it. Okay. Apparently, those ones are now stuck, so you can't pick them up. You used to be able to pick them up. Oh, we can pick that one up. As you can see, though, you can't get rid of these machines, except for scanning the broken ones, as you do with normal stuff, and that will get you a few extra bits as well. And you can also, if you want, dig these out from the other side, so you've got a, a copper vein and an iron vein down here. But a few broken bits down here just to scan, that gives you an early start if you need it. Like so. Is that broken in there? No. Okay. Well, that is the end of this episode. So come down and get these broken parts um, and the early start bio bricks for putting in your machines and then your machines will run for a long time without you having to collect some plant matter early on, which can be very helpful so if you've enjoyed this episode please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel but otherwise i'll see you all in my next episode thanks for watching bye